Hello and welcome to another 10 minutes of trusting with me, Jenna Byrne, where I seek God in my art journal. It's also part of something called Seek, Gather, Create, which is a challenge over on Instagram uh, by Lisa Goddard and a couple of other artists. I will link to them below. And Each week, the challenge is to find certain items and use them on your page. So this week, we were challenged to find a butterfly, something blue, something soft and some tissue paper. So I'm working in my little junk journal for this project. Um, Apologies if you can hear the wind howling in the background. Uh, We're in the middle of Storm Eunice in the UK, supposedly one of the worst storms that we've seen for decades. Um, The roof seems to be holding so far, so (laughs) that's all good. Praise the Lord for that. So I'm sticking down um, some feathers. This is a printable from my Feathers of Hope video. I'll link to that below. Just some leftover uh, painted feathers that I had. Um, I, I think the butterfly theme is leading me to thoughts about transformation. It's a beautiful metaphor, isn't it? For how we are new creations when we accept Jesus into our lives the old has gone and the new has come so everything to do with our past life that is now dead and we become this wonderful new creation in Christ um that is true and uh, when I became a Christian there were things that changed about me instantly but there were also um things that I continue to struggle with if I'm honest and I don't know what your experience of being born again is but um, it is both a once and for all time thing Uh, we are we are once and for all time accepted by God because of Jesus and his death on the cross but it is also a process um, that we are all in and sometimes if I'm honest I find that process a bit frustrating there um, are things about me um, my uh, lack of patience being one and (laughs) propensity to um, lose my temper and and get stressed and um, anxiety things like that that I would rather God just swept away in an instant but it's it's a process and I am um I am making progress although sometimes it's it's difficult to see sometimes I can be really hard on myself if I'm honest I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I hate to make mistakes I hate those days where I think oh I failed um I am part of a a coaching group with a lovely lady of the faith called Teresa Dedman in one of her talks on perfectionism said as children of God we can laugh at our mistakes and this this really stood out to me and shocked me because I am not one to laugh at my mistakes <laughs> I am one to get very um frustrated uh, angry and down on myself really um on the days where i'm not the person that i really want to be but is that really how god looks at me when i make mistakes is he frustrated with me and angry with me and down on me or is he just longing to pick me up dust me off Remind me that I am a child of God. Remind me that he loves me. Remind me for the, of the price he paid so that I wouldn't feel sorry for myself. And set my feet back on the rock so I can carry on with this process of transformation. It turns out this butterfly, which I printed out with my thermal printer, 
was a little bit too perfect for my liking. So I ended up scrunching her up and adding a bit of coffee. I'm now adding some colour in the form of watercolour paints. And it's interesting for this butterfly to fit nicely on the page and look the way that I want it. Um, it had to go through some stuff. It had to go through some bending and creasing and painting and sewing. I've just stitched it together with um, some cardboard and the fabric on my sewing machine. And maybe that's true of us as well. Maybe for us to be the beautiful creature that God wants us to be, we sometimes need to go through some stuff and it's not always a, a straightforward path of transformation. And because the paper that the butterfly was printed on uh, was quite shiny and because I've creased it up, it ended up looking like her wings were still wet. You know how a, a butterfly um, emerges from the uh, cocoon and has to wait for its wings to dry before it can take flight. And during that time, the butterfly is extremely vulnerable, is very delicate and it needs patience and time to dry out. And I guess my thought was, do we give ourselves that time? Are we, do we, um, are we kind to ourselves when we fail, when we mess up, when we aren't quite doing what we want to do? We have been transformed. We are this new creation. The butterfly is no longer a caterpillar just because it needs a little bit of love and care and time for its wings to dry. And do we believe that Daddy God is is for us and also is loving on us um, at those times when we feel delicate and vulnerable because he can see this vision of loveliness that you were created to be and that is what he sees when he looks at us he sees this beautiful butterfly and do we see that in other people too can we look past um, momentary failings and mistakes that we see in our nearest and dearest and can we call out and encourage the butterfly in them I just wrote the words careful wet paint um, in white Posca pen at the bottom there um, just as a reminder to treat myself and others gently and I've decided to add the word unfurl um, as a declaration of what God is doing in all of us. He's unfurling our beauty. Therefore there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus because through Christ Jesus the law of the spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. Free to unfurl, free to fly. God bless you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do hit the subscribe button for more videos in the future and I will see you soon. Lots of love. Bye.